It's me again. Um, I posted a video today on how I stamp and scan the stamped images mm -hmm. into the scan and cut and cut them out. And I had a few people ask how to cut out against the line instead of putting a border. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm also going to show you how to eliminate items. Like, I love this image, but I'm not crazy about the stars or the dots. So I'm going to eliminate those so it only cuts out the dog. Um, and I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing you do, obviously, is put the image on the mat. And once again, I tape them to the mat because Brother Scan and Cut mats suck. They don't stick, so I tape it. And I heard some of you say that they don't like the tape and they like the spray better. Whatever works for you. I don't spray because I don't like the mess. Um, I know some people say it's not messy, but to me, it's messy. I tape it because it's fast. I don't have to wait for it to dry. Um, it's easy. It's cheap. I'm lazy. So that works for me. So whatever works for you, works for you. Um, so you turn on your machine, and I'll go through all the steps again just in case you didn't watch the other video. Um, you don't have to watch the whole little spiel about they do some pretties, but you don't have to watch that. So you just hit the home button, and it'll ask you to move the carriage, and you do that. So then you line up your mat, and you hit the load button, and it loads. And then you're going to hit scan, and then direct cut and save to your machine and then hit start and once again I have an extra light in here so you can see my dust um, I'm too busy crafting to dust my craft room so whatever it holds everything together I guess and then once you see your images you just you can use the little pen thing that it came with or your finger I have fat fingers so I don't want to block the screen but you just make sure that they're within the area and you hit OK. And you can see in this picture how it selected the dogs, it selected the hearts and the stars. So I'm going to hit OK. And then I told you I'm going to cut it directly on the dog and not leave a border. So I'm going to skip this and just hit OK. Now this is where you're going to delete things. So right here you have this button. You're going to click it and you can see it selected the heart and you can zoom in if you want. It selected that heart. If I don't want that heart, then I just hit delete and hit OK and it deleted it. And then you can see the little stars if you want to zoom in, you can zoom in again and you can scan or you can do it directly, but you can see the little stars so you just click on it and click OK, hit delete, and it'll delete all those and usually it'll go to the next one. It kind of gets a sense of, and of course this is not the only way you can do this. I'm sure there's other ways. This is just the way that works for me. It's the fastest way. It's the easiest way, I think. Um, I did have people get on to me today on my video about how it's not the only way. I'm not saying it is. This is just the way I do it. So once I get it, everything deleted the way I want. Um, it might still do the little circles. It doesn't look like it's going to. It looks like it's just going to do the dog. So then you hit OK. And you hit OK again, telling it that that's the way you want it. And you hit Cut. And then you hit Start. And I do have my blade set to 11 for this because I'm using very, very thick um, cardstock because I use Copic markers. So this cardstock is very thick. So it is set at 11. Um, it might be able to be set lower than that, but usually I'll go for a 10 or 11 whenever I'm on cardstock. So then once you're done, you just hit the unload button and it'll tell you it's going to move the carriage. And once again, I'm going to try to do this one handed. One day I'm going to have a tripod, but I guess I don't do enough videos for that. So whatever. I'll try to use my elbow. So here's the dog. No border, just straight against him. 
Um, you can see he's kind of textured, so you know, you're gonna see little white spots because he's not a smooth dog, but it did get right up against him. And then here's the other one, no stars, no dots, just him. So that's how you do it without the border and that's how you remove images. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to PM me. I'll help anybody, I don't mind. Um, everybody starts somewhere, so I know some people don't like to help newbies, but hey, we all learn from somebody, right? Thanks.